Hello folks, welcome. LMDE6 Cinnamon. A lot of these tools are found on all the Cinnamon desktops. I'm going to introduce you to another tool which you'll have to install also. It's very quick. It's called NCDU. Some of you folks may know about it and maybe some not so much. We're going to talk about disk usage today. Which folder is consuming the most amount of drive space on your hard drive in your home folder? Sometimes that's important to keep an eye on if you can't figure out where your bits and bytes are going on your hard drive. And some people's hard drives are small. Some people's are large, so they don't really pay attention to that. But for the folks that have limited amount of hard drive space, that may be important. So I'm going to show you several different tools today, and one of them you'll have to install called NCDU. And uh, I'll talk about Disk Usage Analyzer and your file manager. Filming in 1080, welcome folks, adjust your YouTube player accordingly. Subscription key is in the corner, 340 videos and growing. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click hit system settings and talk about some basic stuff. A lot of you folks are aware when you hit system information that uh, there's two formats here. Your RAM is represented in GIB formats and your hard drives in GB format. What is the difference? So that's 32 gigabytes, and this is roughly 1.7 terabytes. Well, what's this GIB and GB? Well, let's take a look at the internet. So GB versus GIB. Your GB or gigabyte is units of whole numbers like this. Versus GIB, spelled with uppercase G, uh, small i, and a B, is this format. So what that means is one gigabyte equals 0 0.93 GIB. If we take the same calculation for megabytes, a megabyte, as a lot of people used to use that word, but a lot of people don't know what a mebibyte is, which is an M small i B. Well, the difference is 1000 or meb is in 1024. Just wanted to point out some of these calculations for you when we're dealing with numbers. So these tools you should have, Disk Usage Analyzer, and uh, if I can spell it right, there we go. I'm gonna open that one up. Now, depending on if you have a solid state driver or spinning, uh, this may take a second or two. So while that's doing its business, I'm gonna open up the file manager and it's finished scanning root. So that forward set, uh, symbol represents this guy right here. Everything starts from root. Our user for today is LMDE tester, but it has the word home in front of it. If you ever wondered where that came from, because in your root area, this home folder is not the same as this folder. This is the current user, and this is the home folder for all the users, standard users. So if you have uh, Mary, Bob, Sam, or whatever in here. So what I'm gonna do is do a calculation by right-clicking and we're gonna let this thing add this up in GB format, gigabytes, 3.3. Over here, I'm gonna click the home folder. You can already see it says 3.3 on it. It converts right over to the username, 3.3 gigabytes. That's a total match. So now we're gonna break the tree down a little bit further. So in here is your home folder. Um, so when we're looking at our folders, we can't really tell which one is using the most bits and bytes, but this will tell me that. So my dot local is using the most amount of space, 1.4 gigabytes. Then the next one is dot cache, but these folders are not being displayed. Right click, show hidden. I usually use control H to do the same job. The control H is very common on just about all modern Linux file managers to display that information. But you can also right click and just click that. So that's the folder consuming the most amount of space for this user called LMDE tester. This could have been called Bob or Sam or Mary. Just the name I gave it. The second folder in uh, this line is this one here is using also an enormous amount of space. Not as much as this one though. And sometimes these can also grow to enormous sizes. Why is that? Because they contain cache files for web browsers. 
Here's Chromium and Firefox, for instance. So it's, sometimes it's important to find out where all your space is going. And this kind of displays that in the tree format. I'm going to turn off hidden, control H. So the third one in line is pictures. So I have another tool for you though that is uh, rather quick. So I'm just going to, you know, point out the fact you can individually do folders also to calculate spaces, but I'm going to close the file manager down for a second. And then I'm going to open up and introduce you to a tool that you more likely will not, not have installed. NCDU is a tool you can install if you like, and it's very quick and it's very small. It's 115 kilobytes of the system package, not flat pack. And uh, you can just run it straight out of terminal after you install it, or you can just install it through terminal. Either way, it's just as fast. I normally install it through terminal because it's very quick. I'm going to run it for you first, and then we can explain what this does. Uh, too small. All right, control shift plus plus plus. How is that? Is that better? Down at the bottom, you'll see total disk usage, 3.1 GIB. Remember, this is in GB format. This is now in GIB format. That was the whole reason I made mention of that earlier. So this is now reported in MB or MIB format versus this one is in MB format. That's okay, the folders still match. Dot local is the, the folder that's using the most amount of space, then it's dot cache and then pictures, just like it is in this tree. But this, if you remember how long it took to calculate, um, when you open this up, let me hit close or try to hit close. Um, when I run this command, it's very quick, very quick. So if you're looking for an answer in a hurry, install that, ncdu, and you can get this information at your fingertip about your home user in a hurry. You know, there's lots of ways we can find information about system stuff. And I try to introduce um, some new material occasionally, and uh, this is something that you can install. Uh, a lot of you folks may be familiar with this one which is called DU, and it's hard to read for most people. Versus NCDU is a little bit easier on the eyes. And I'm gonna hit Control C, and then I'm going to hit Clear, and make this a little bit larger for you, because I know it's very small. Again, I'm filming in 1080. You can do MAN, NCDU, and read all about it. NCURSUS disk usage has lots of options. And you can see those options are in this list well below. All you gotta do is type in MANNCDU to see those options. Thank you for watching, folks.